Do you want to create some cool looking animated titles for your videos like this one? Yes. Do you know how to use Adobe After Effects? No. Okay, and any other video editor like Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro? No, even I don't want to learn them. Well, don't be sad. You don't have to learn all these softwares because here I have got a simple solution for you because in this video tutorial, I'm gonna create the same coolest animated title by using Photoshop only. <laughs> Do you know that animation and video editing are the parts of Photoshop just like vector illustration and photo editing? Though Photoshop doesn't have got some advanced tools for animation and video editing but yet if you wanna create something amazing then you can do it with Photoshop too. Now for a moment just consider some famous drawing artists or painters. You know they don't have features like undo, mask, camera row and adjustment layers just like you do have but yet they create much more amazing artworks that we might not have ever created in photoshop did you get my point it's all about creativity it's all about pushing yourself hard with some limited tools you should know that tools aren't gonna create something amazing you are tools and features are there only for your own convenience just to speed up your workflow so never depend on tools and altogether never underestimate the power of those tools that you have got in your hands they might look usual and normal, but it's you who's gonna use them wisely to create something mighty. Okay, so now without any further ado, let's start creating something new. First of all, we need to create a document. As my final video is going to be rendered as a full HD video, so I am gonna give it a size of 1920 by 1080. Give your document an appropriate name and then press enter or ok to finalizing your creating process. Now we need to create a background for our video and we are gonna do that by using our gradient adjustment layer. Now choose that black and white gradient. Now change its style from linear to radial and scale it. Now place it in a suitable position and press ok. Here I'm not liking that white spot in my gradient map so I'm gonna change my white's color to something like white grey. Now create a new layer. Now change your foreground color to black. Now press Alt plus Backspace to fill your newly created layer with your foreground color which is black. Now go to your filter menu, click on render and choose lighting effect filter. Here you can see that I have already created the lighting and that's what we are gonna create. But to show you that how did I come up with this result, I'm gonna start by using the default lighting. So here go to your presets and choose default. Now here I am gonna increase my intensity and exposure. Now here press and hold your shift key and click on that empty area and then start dragging upward. Now we need to scale down its length a little because we don't want that much wider light. Now place it in a suitable position. Now to create a new spotlight, just click on that spotlight icon. Now try to match the exact same setting of our first light. Try to make some little adjustments to make your lights look more even. Now click OK to finish creating your lights. Change your blending mode to screen. If your document isn't centered well then you can just press Ctrl A and then select your move tool and by using this alignment option to center it. Now create a new layer. Now select your rectangular marquee tool to make a selection. Just right after creating your selection, just make a curve adjustment layer and then just play with that curve tool to make a difference between your ground and your background.
Now select your type tool and start typing. Now press Alt plus Backspace to fill your text layer with your foreground color. Now press Ctrl R to activate your rulers. Here I'm going to place few guys around my text. And the reason behind creating these guys is that first these guys will help you to snap your letters easily while animating them. And second we will have a clear idea by using these guys that how high and low our letter is going to be after the bounce. So thereby these guys will guide you to create a realistic animation with all the physics applied. Now double click on your text layer to activate your layer style panel and here by using all these features I'm going to stylize my text a little and you can just simply follow along with me. And when you are satisfied, click OK to confirm your style. Now our text is looking much better. Now here I am not liking that font so I am going to change it to Montserrat. If you have that same font then go ahead and if you don't have then you can download it from the internet, it's free of cost. Here we need to preserve our original text layer as we are going to separate our letters from a well constructed text and in order to preserve it we need to duplicate it. Also your preserved layer will help you to maintain the space between the letters which is professionally known as kerning and tracking. Now we are going to separate all the letters we have got in our title text to the individual layers. 
Now select your text layer and duplicate it and then decrease down the opacity of original one. And now I'm gonna lock down everything because I don't want any accidental change here. Now click on that thumbnail of your text layer and press A and duplicate it and continue the process till the successful separation of all of our letters. Now you can see that we have perfectly separated all of our letters from our original tags to the individual layers without disorganizing the space between them. And here I'm not liking that black and white background, so I'm gonna apply a gradient map over it. and then change its blending mode to soft light and I think it's looking better than before. Now we are going to start animating our letters and in order to do that you will need a timeline panel over here and to activate your timeline panel you just need to open up your window menu. Now here you will have your timeline option. Just click once on it to add it to your interface and now simply click on that create video timeline button. Now you have created a timeline for all of your layers and now what you can do you can just animate everything. By using this horizontal little slider, you can just simply zoom in and zoom out in your timeline panel. And by using this vertical bar, you can just simply go through all of your layers. You can even use your scroll wheel in your timeline panel to go through all of your layers. Now select your A layer and apart from A layer, just hide everything. Now click on that tiny white arrow to get your animation tools. Now click on that cloak icon to activate your keyframes. Now here you can see that you have got a yellow diamond sort of thing. That's your keyframe. You can move it anywhere you want. Now I'm gonna start my animation from 5th frame. Now place your time header onto your keyframe. Now press Ctrl T to bring your transformation tool and then take it out of your screen and now just go 7 frames ahead press ctrl T to bring back your transformation tool and then place it in its original position press enter to confirm your transformation and skip 3 frames place it here and skip 3 frames and place it on its base position Again, go 2 frames ahead. We are gonna skipping one more because the distance is smaller. Skip 2 frames and bring it back to its original position. Now check that. Wow, isn't that looking cool? It's looking and bouncing like a real object. Now go back to your first keyframe and then place your time header at the distance of 2 keyframes from the first keyframe. And from that distance, we are gonna animate our next letter. Until the completion of our animation, we will be stick to the same distance setting. 
Now keep all this setting in your mind and follow along with me. We are just about to create an amazing animation. And now press spacebar to get a preview of your animation. That's looking really amazing, isn't it? But we are gonna make it look more real. Double click on your timeline again. Now again select your first ladder in your timeline panel. And place your time header onto the first keyframe. Now we are gonna give this letter another transformation which would be the rotation. Now looking much better. Let's give this animation another transformation which would make it look much more better. Now while applying transformation to any of your layers, just make sure that your time header is correctly placed on that keyframe, otherwise you would end up with lots of unexpected keyframes in your timeline panel and you wouldn't like that. Congratulations guys, you have successfully created that animation. Now it's time to export it so that you can upload it on your WhatsApp, Instagram or Facebook. And to do that, just open your file menu, click on export and then render video. Here, just give your animation a name. 
choose an appropriate folder for your video and here in the format panel choose the H.264 Now change your aspect setting to square 1.0 and now just click on the render button. So that's our final output guys. I hope that you would have enjoyed the video and learned something new today. If this video helped you to improve your knowledge about Photoshop or inspired you to use your Photoshop usual tools to create something unexpected then do like this video and share it with your friends. Also let me know in the comment box that what would you like to see in my upcoming videos. I will definitely work on them and get back to you as soon as possible. So that's it for today. I'll see you in my next video. Till then take care and keep creating.